At least 32 people have been killed and 100 others injured in a twin suicide bombing in Iraq's capital, the first such attack in three years. Marvi Delfin will give us the details live. Yes, Marvi, please go ahead. Muriel, the jihadist group Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the rare bombing attack in a busy commercial area in central Baghdad on Thursday morning amid heightened political tensions over planned early elections and a severe economic crisis. According to Iraqi military spokesman Yahya Rasul, two suicide bombers detonated their vest when security forces pursued them through the Bab Sharki area. However, other eyewitness accounts suggested that the assailants moved freely through the Tayaran Square, which was busy with shoppers following the easing of almost a year of COVID-19 related restrictions. While some reported that the first bomber posed injured and pressed the detonator as people gathered around him. The second bomber then blew himself up as others came to help the victims. An interior ministry spokesman said that the death toll had risen to at least a 32, and that number was expected to rise as some wounded were in critical condition. The ministry ordered the city's hospitals to treat the wounded despite health facilities being already overwhelmed by the coronavirus pandemic. Iraqi President Barham Salis said that the targeting of innocent citizens in Baghdad during a global crisis is a sign of renewed insurgency that aims to weaken Iraq's stability, raising fears of a return to the military and violence seen for years in the country. Although ISIS has been greatly weakened with the help of Iraq's international allies, militant groups still conduct operations, relying mainly on improvised explosive devices or IEDs and small arms fire in its attack. According to a report by the United Nations Security General, it was estimated that more than 10,000 IS fighters remained active in Iraq and Syria. In 2020, former President Donald Trump ordered the withdrawal of half the American troops deployed in Iraq, saying he had confidence in the ability of local forces to prevent the reactivation of ISIS. However, several Iraqi MPs endorsed that a political vacuum had led terror groups to sense vulnerability in Baghdad after years of relative security stability. Muriel? All right, Marvi, thank you for that live report.